Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. I hope you and yours are having a fantastic holiday. And I just wanted to share with you guys <clears throat> some updates of where I am and what's going on. Of course, I have some extra time off for the holidays, so I'm getting some work done. So just so you guys know, the four Yokdos <clears throat> are ready to go out to heat treat. I did the vote and you guys decided that you wanted, you liked the hand sanding and you liked the machine finish. So I'm gonna do one of each. So these four are now ready to be sent out for heat treating and then I'll finish these up when they come back. So they'll be going out uh, very soon once USPS is up and running and the holidays are over. I'll be looking at sending those guys out. Um, I also went ahead and cut out and shaped the four knives that are customer knives for the books. Um, I've said it a couple times that I opened my books and I had four people reach out and ask for a knife. And these are the four. And then the pedal here at the top. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. So someone asked for a flamingo. So I'm going to do something fun with the flamingo. Uh, someone asked for another thorn. And I have a thorn that I'm going to show you guys here at the end. Um, so this one has some specific colors that they're going to get. Um, this one is a cardinal. I haven't made too many of these. I've made about three or four of them. And it's just not something I've done very often. But someone asked for a cardinal, but they wanted it skeletonized. So I'm using a little bit thicker blade stock. I'm going to try to square this off a little bit, round some of it off, but not all of it. And I have some plans for this one, which could be pretty cool based on the owner of this knife. So um, I, I'm not going to release that. This is a full custom. This will possibly be a new model called the Tobiko, uh, based on what I know. Uh, the Tobiko is a really awesome blade shape, something new for me, um, based on what that customer was asking for and what their inspiration was. So I think it's going to be pretty cool, comfortable in the hand. Uh, it's not really a harpoon. It's more of a ramp there. Um, and it's just as soon as you get it in your hand and you put it down, then your thumb kind of goes right where that is. So it's pretty awesome. You can get up here on the tip. Still has a nice puncture, nice belly. So that will be a fun project to do. And I got some really cool ideas for that for the handle. So let's talk a little bit about the bloom. I decided to do the bloom. Nobody has reached out for that fifth and final spot. So I went ahead and <clears throat> started a bloom because the goal on this one is that this is going to end up being a pass around knife. I'm going to build this knife specifically to get it out into other content creators' hands so it's more and get into a pass around group. So I'm going to finish this one up and then hopefully I'm going to get this one out to some people and see if they're interested in handling one of my knives and then get their opinions and then maybe they'll send it off to somebody else to get that opinion. So that is the hope. The more knives I get into people's hands, the more people know about what I'm creating and maybe pushing people to the channel. And I think that's the way I'm going to grow. So I created this, and I'm going to make this specifically for that. Um, these two are an AEB-L stainless, and these three are ADCRV2. So I'm going to be doing all of that in-house. These, I have a lot of work left to do, but I'm going to be working on those. Um, the Bloom XL is sold. So this is sold. So... As soon as USPS gets open, I have a lot of things I'm going to be dropping off because I have the four Yoktos and I have this. I need to get shipped out 
to their new owner. That's not going very far. Uh, I'm in Florida and this person who bought it is in Florida. And uh, again, thank you for your service. If you're following the channel, which I hope you are, and that's going to get to you very, very soon. And then that leaves us to only one other project, and that is this one. This is a thorn. Uh, this is Jim Miller's thorn. Uh, I am finishing this one up for him. It's in pretty good shape. I got the sheath started, so I got to finish the sheath. But I got the handles all shaped out and done today. Uh, so it's looking pretty darn good. So all that's left on this is to finish that sheath off, get that to fit properly, do some finishing touches on the blade and the handle, and then put an edge on this, and this one will be ready to go out the door. So Jim, uh, I know you're probably gonna watch this at some point in time, but uh, it is getting pretty close there, buddy, and getting ready to get sent out to you. So um, this thorn is turning out pretty, pretty good. And this will be matching his rock hopper, which is the same handle material, same color pins. It's going to have the gray lanyard. And uh, yeah, it's turning out pretty nice. So really like the way it's coming out. So that one will be heading out as well. Hopefully at the same time, all this other stuff is. So got a lot of things going on on the channel right now. Got a lot of work. These, I know I wasn't really supposed to work on these till no, January, but I got a head start and I have some time off here coming up and I wanted to get a head start on these projects so that I can get them finished because I want to be able to get all of the stainless stuff sent out and then get these guys going. And then it's kind of like, you know, a little... This goes out, this is done. While this is getting worked on, I can work on this over here. And it's just gonna be a lot of kind of back and forth, back and forth until everything is done. Um, so right now I have a lot of things going on. Uh, 10 knives that I'm working on right now. Although this one is almost done and it should be heading out the door here very soon. I still have these other nine that I'm working on, which is the more, most I've ever had at one time. And it's okay. I'm not panicking and I feel really good about it. So things have been going really well here. And I know 2024 is going to be a fantastic year for Aries EDC. I can feel it. Um, if not, then something's wrong with something going on. But anyway, all I can say is I'm looking forward to how the year is going to go. And I really love the support that you guys have had. So this is just a quick update of what's going on. Hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video, these are all gone, this is done, and these guys are in a better shape. But it's Christmas night or Christmas Eve when I'm filming this. I'm about to hit the sack. Tomorrow will be Christmas, get to spend some time with the fam, and it'll be a great, great day. Um, I get to wake up though and start working on these though, so, which is even better for me. But, <laughs> and if anybody's interested, please check out the Etsy store. I still have the naked column is still available. So this guy is still available on the Etsy store. Awesome knife. So please go check out my Etsy store. Check out my Instagram at AriesEDC and at AriesEDC on Etsy. You can find all the stuff and any pictures of stuff's going on. And with that, please subscribe, like, leave a comment or not. That choice is yours. Thanks for watching, guys.